Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Five Steps to Solo Travel. This is an episode for women like you who need a little extra support traveling the world one woman at a time. I've been traveling independently or solo since 1972. Please share this podcast with your parents, loved ones, and future travelers so you make their trips the very best. In this episode, the FAQ is, how can I travel solo while I'm still in a group? Today's destination is Sedona, Arizona. Today's mistake, I bought the wrong airline ticket. And travel advice, gas up when half full. Now the FAQ, how can I travel solo while I'm still in a group? And the answer is, before or after your group trip, plan yourself some solo time just for you. That way, when you do get to the arranged activities, you will be ready and prepared. Some people like to warm up by going with just one friend before they join the group. That's okay too. After your group tour, you may wanna have a few days in the same region to purposefully explore other options and see things that were left off the tour. Tour guides generally only show you the best parts of the region. To get the real experience, it would be nice to have some solo trip time too. Today's destination, Sedona, Arizona. Sedona, Arizona and the Verde Valley is 1,200 square miles big. It's a traveler's delight. It's like an oasis in the desert, but very lifelike and real and it's known for spirituality and wellness, plus red rocks. Sedona's magic goes back to history and legend. Sedona may have been linked to early Aztec or Mayan occupation thousands of years ago. The earliest native artifacts, such as pottery and weavings, found in the area date back to as early as the seventh century. Later on, there are tribes that were here, including the Hopi, Navajo, and Yavapai. Cliff houses are worth exploring, such as Sedona's Palaki Heritage Site or nearby Montezuma Castle. Way back in the 16th century, the Spanish called the local indigenous people Sinagua, which means without water. Sedona is named after the wife of T.C. Schnebley, the founder in modern days of the area. Arizona reminds me of a rusty color and rustic travel. You can take your hike or spiritual journey here. If driving through, please drive from north to south for the best views. Be aware of falling rocks. It's a two hour drive from Phoenix and a getaway from the deserts surrounding the area. Every time I drive here, I learn something new and so will you. I've never been to a spa here, but they seem outstanding. You'll find plenty of new age shops, spas, and art galleries. For nature, consider bird watching, hiking, or picnics. My favorite activity in Sedona is hiking. You will need to find a good location and bring the right equipment. And don't forget to bring a lot of water too. Stay hydrated. Today's mistake, I bought the wrong ticket online. I was looking for a trip and bought the wrong ticket. I realized my error afterwards. I went in and canceled that trip and then bought the right trip. I had to double check that my airline gave me credit for the canceled ticket. In the USA, they have to give you a refund if it's within 24 hours of purchase. Other countries have different rules. Today's travel advice, gas up when half full. Check the gas gauge when you get in the car. Make sure you have enough. It's best to fill up early in the day if you can. I try to fill up whenever I'm halfway full. Gas prices have been changing, sometimes up and sometimes dropping. Use the Gas Buddy app or similar method of finding the cheapest gas in your neighborhood. I want to bring meaning to your travels. So send a question or travel tip to info at drmarytravelbest.com we can connect. Find Five Steps to Solo Travel book, ebook, and audiobook series on Amazon. The show notes have more details for you to connect. 
What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.